Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at Long Beach, California. Here we are. Mm -hmm. At the new hangar, mm -hmm. which is like a big food hall in. Yes, and this was used to be a, what is used to be, baby, this hangar? Yeah, you know, this location where this hangar, in fact, they call this the Long Beach Exchange, where there's a whole bunch of stores, restaurants, grocery stores, mm -hmm. clothing stores, everything is here. Mm -hmm. But this entire property was built on the old McDonnell Douglas Aircraft Factory here in Long mm -hmm. Beach. In fact, that's where I used to, uh, well, used to, but that's where I got my start in aviation. I worked for McDonnell Douglas, like way right. back in the day. Uh -huh. So uh, I'll give you some shots on what it looked like. You can see the, the, the factory right there, building the MD-80 and MD-11. Even before that, it used to be the, the DC-10s, mm -hmm. even DC-8 aircrafts. So that's Long Beach. It, yes. it, it was one of the biggest employers in the city, yeah. McDonnell Douglas. Uh -huh. And then, you know, Boeing took over and uh, I was with them for a while. But yeah, this is on a historic site. The that's old McDonnell cool. Douglas site, right? That is cool. Yeah. So it is right behind us is LBX Hangar. So that's where we're going to go inside and uh, get some grub. Yes. It's our first time here. It is. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. You know, one thing that is pretty cool that they, they thought of when they made this place uh -huh. is they made it look like an aircraft hangar. You that's can cool. see like runway painted stripes, right? And that's the way it is. And it goes directly to the hangar. Yeah, there's a lot of food places here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you a little walkthrough yep, and, and we're uh, gonna give you a tour. And we're going to try a few. We just don't know what we're going to try yet. So yeah. we're going to go walk around. We'll see whatever looks good to us. Yeah. As you enter, you yeah. get both sides have food so this first one is called coffee roasters yeah. and they have what coffee and bagels over here mm -hmm. so it looks like a pretty good coffee shop and what's here to the right looks like uh, you can make your own kind of like acai bowls right it's called blue bowl chia yeah uh, zoom in acai. on this so yeah you have a bunch of choices acai i'm sure is the most popular yeah so it's like one of those make your own bowl kind of places. Those right? are pretty cool. Yeah. So this one, Ike's, is not open mm -hmm. over here. But right next to it is Jaybirds. And this is like a Nashville hot chicken. It even says so right over here. And you know, we, we know a little thing about Nashville we hot do. chicken. We do. Yeah, and so I wonder how it goes up to Heidi Bees. Right. So we will definitely try this place out. It does look pretty good. Yeah. And let's move on. The next place is Donner G. And Donner. they also have Turkish, it's a Mediterranean grill. And you say they had um, ice cream here as yeah, well? Yeah, right here, Turkish ice cream and oh, baklava. Yeah. Right, here we go right here. And you know, we're, we're big fans of baklava. We are. And we are. the Turkish and ice cream. You can see on there. Oh, that's, over yeah. There. Look at that. So they definitely have the uh, the donor meats here. Yeah. So this looks good too. And it's from Istanbul, mm -hmm. right? So this uh, this has our attention. Yeah. Let's move on to, what is it? Plaid Plaid sheep. Plaid sheep. And this is like a grilled cheese bar. Of course, they uh, they have their little black sheep as their mascot. But it's not only uh, goat cheese. Uh, they no, have regular they have Swiss regular cheese, cheese, American. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they specialize in different types of grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, so here's a quick shot of the menu right here. So they do have all different types. Even this one looks good too. They have a rosemary pork belly. All of them look good. Rosemary pork yeah. belly, right? Let's move on. Uh, this thing in the corner is called Morning Nights. And what do they have here? And I think alcohol. Oh, just we'll booze, see. right? Yeah. yeah, so they have like beer, wine, sake. Oh no, they have food. And craft cocktails. Right here, morning nights. That food. Oh, they have food also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that, apple wontons. So they do have some uh, some pupus, right? Mm -hmm. Xiaolong bao, right. dan dan noodles. So this is the end already, but along the back side is called Bottle Craft. And this looks like a, uh, a brewery. A brewery. Right? Mm -hmm. 
and they have uh, wow, 27 different types of uh, I guess beers on tap over here. So it looks pretty good. And we have Poke Grill. That's right. Poke Bowls. So they can make your own Poke Bowls over here. Of course, they have your classic salmon, tuna, albacore. So this is how you build it like that. So even the salmon with the uh, spicy mayo, that one looks good too, right? Salmon it spicy does. mayo. Mm -hmm. So here it is, Poke Grill. This one is closed. I've seen this before in malls though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a gelato place too. Pub bar. Mm -hmm. uh, too bad because uh, we're a fan of gelatos. Oh, yeah. Amorcito. Amorcito, urban taqueria right here. So they have street tacos and they have smash burgers, right? No, oh, no. A little bit. No, not this one. Oh, not this one. Okay, yeah. this is all this uh, is... burritos, tacos. Okay, so video. Actually, tacos. you know what? They do have a couple burgers. They have a hatch burger. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the type of food they have right here. Oh man, look at that fish taco. A Rosarito fish taco. Yeah. He's then, a fan. On the opposite side is the only non-food vendor here, which is like a, a souvenir store? Yeah. A shirt clothing mm -hmm. store. And there's nothing here, over here. Looks like a, a latte place is coming here soon. This one catches my attention. Oh, the yeah. Bulgogi burrito. It's called Marinate, and it's a Korean barbecue. Wow. So they have a fried mandu, grilled pork belly, and of course the Bulgogi burrito. Wow. So it's typical, almost like that Poke Bowl place where you could build your own bowl, like that. Yeah. One there. more place. One more place. Spicy pork belly burrito, look at that. So there we go. That's their recommendations. And what's the last place? And there? the cross. I believe I read online they use Amoroso bread for this one. Oh they do. Okay. Then, yeah, for those not steaks. familiar yeah, those not familiar with Amoroso, it's a famous bakery in Philadelphia, yeah. which um, a lot of their Philly cheesesteaks, mm -hmm. the bread, that's what they use. And this one has the Wagyu burger. Right. It's called the Croft and it's the gourmet sandwiches, poutines and craft beer. Yeah, the, again, they have a porchetta, um, fried chicken sandwich, beef melt, get a better picture right there. Look at the loaded baked potatoes. Oh, loaded baked potatoes as well, right there. After walking through all of the food areas, I'm more confused now I on what even, to get. I don't even know what to get. Yeah, yeah, we're planning on getting like four items, right? But we'll see. At least six of them look like maybe it's pretty legit so yeah, we'll see what we end up with yeah first meal we decided was from j birds check it out nashville hot chicken right here and we got one called the baby j sandwich and we got it in mild you saw they had different temperature offerings in it but even the mild it says a touch of heat and we almost got the regular medium but i thought yeah it's a little bit a little too hardcore for us right now since we have other foods to try, we want to not completely kill our taste buds, right? So here we go. White chicken patty. It has pickles, comeback sauce. There we go. And chicken breast. Yeah, and you know, even for a mild, you can see the spices on mm -hmm. there. And we're excited to try this because we're big fans of Hattie B's. We even had Prince's hot chicken. And that was really our favorite hot chicken sandwich from Nashville. So it'll be interesting to see how Jaybirds is. You ready? Cheers, everybody. It has a nice amount of heat to it, even though it's mild. It's a good kind of heat, too. And the pickles, nice and crunchy. The bread, nice and soft. The chicken is a tad on the dry side. I don't have a lot of like moisture coming from this patty. Let me, uh, let me try it again over here. 
I'm still getting that little touch of dryness to the to the chicken. It is very good though. I mean, the touch of dryness aside, great flavor, great crunch on that chicken batter, and that comeback sauce, pickles, it all matches perfectly. Let's try it on, babe. Okay, it is a brioche bun, so the bun is nice and soft, nice and warm as well. There's the pickle chicken. Mm. What I like is they use this brio bun, brioche bun on the sandwich. You can tell that they toasted it a little bit on the grill. That chicken, this crust is crunchy. That pickle is really nice and subtle in there. I'm trying to figure out what this comeback sauce is. The last time I heard mm. of comeback sauce is from guys. Mm -hmm. You know how Kai uses comeback sauce. There's a little kick to it. I'm pretty sure that's a spicy sauce with chicken. It kind of reminds me of a Thousand Island because it's a little bit of sweet to that. This is a this delicious sandwich, actually. I don't find the chicken to be dry. I know it is. Mm. It, it is a white meat chicken, so it traditionally is. a little bit drier than dark meat. But I mean, it is good. It is very good. It has a great taste to it. Yes. Oh yeah, this is good. When I come back and get it again, I most definitely will if I were in the mood for a chicken sandwich. From Donner G, we got the kebab. Wow. We have the beef and chicken kebab. You can get it in a rice plate, which we got it here. Rice plate, uh, they had wraps, they had pita bread, they had salad. You can pretty much get it any way you want. And for an added charge, I got a little, this is grape leaf, right baby? Grape leaf with rice in it. Oh, so I'm gonna- uh, Sometimes there's ground beef, right? Yeah, so we'll yeah. check it out. So were those charged additionally or? This was charged additionally by the piece. Mm. That's a great flavor. It has really good spices in it. This one is just rice and the grape leaf. Rice, nice and flavorful. Great spices. I remember tasting this before and it was a little bit on the tart side. This is not on the tart side at all. This plate actually comes with either beef or chicken or you can get the combo both of it it comes with pita and a salad they had different sauces for the salad i got just the mediterranean one and it comes with pickles so this is a good sized food this is a good meal right here this is definitely a a, a dinner portion oh, there's all the rice much. down here there's the rice right there yeah. so we're going to go ahead and open this up and try it out this is their hummus right here mm great tasting hummus it, it tastes really roasted i'm gonna put that a little bit on my bread go get it a little bit they have all of that great white sauce they actually have the name of the white sauce there i took a picture of it but i don't remember what it's called i have my chicken i'm gonna have my beef chicken and beef here this is my chicken and my beef and let's take a bite this is so Fresh tasting and so light. Let's try out this rice. Great rice. To the salad. It was a lemon, I think it was a lemon vinaigrette. A little bit on the tart side, but that fresh corn in here, it has a little bit of sweetness to that salad. This is a delicious dish. I come back and get this one again. I'm here waiting for Lisa because she's doing all the food running and I'm saving the table over here. So as I sit here, I notice all of these old pictures from Douglas Aircraft and McDonnell Douglas. And it's cool because they pay a lot of tribute to all of the key moments in history in aviation over here. And uh, you know, I, I'll give you a shot of it, but a lot of it, is just pure Long Beach history. Um, they also have a lot of memorabilia hanging on the walls, which I'll get a closer shot a little bit later. But you just have that feel that they didn't forget what this place was. Sorry about that. Get a little emotional sometimes. <laughs> now, I know there's a lot of airplane people that may not be huge fans of McDonald Douglas products, 
But the one thing it did do was <laughs> my babe. One thing it did do was employ a lot of people. They kept families going here in Long Beach. And for me personally, it gave me the strong foundation of being in the aircraft business. And that's what makes me excel in the, the, the airline that I'm with today. So if it wasn't for this place, I would not be with Delta Airlines. So uh, I have to thank Douglas Aircraft, McDonnell Douglas, and the people of Long Beach because it, it gave me the, the foundation that I needed. Um, back to tacos now. <laughs> the next place we're going to try is Amorcitos. And you did get me a watermelon agua fresca, right? Yes. And the watermelon is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Very fresh. You could almost taste a little pulpiness inside the watermelon. It's delicious. And we got two different tacos here. We got a um, al pastor mm -hmm. and street taco. Yeah, yeah, both street tacos and the shredded beef. Yes, right? it's, uh, they said it's a short rib. A short rib. Okay, yeah. we have short rib and the pastor. So this one looks really good right here. So I'm going to have to go in and try this one out. And it has arugula, it has some a creamy what in it? It has arugula, um, oh, yeah, look at that. grilled onions, uh -huh. creamy green salsa, and red salsa. Wow. Cotija cheese. Yes. And it is on a, you can tell, whole baked corn tortilla. Here it goes for the bite. First thing that comes through, that tortilla is excellent. Nice and fresh tortilla and you know that makes all the difference in the world sometimes when you have a taco the shredded beef here is very good great flavor to it dripping oh yeah the Juicy. short rib has great flavor along with all the other ingredients this is a very good street taco i recommend this one this is the pastor street taco mm. That they a lot of meat, right? They do. They yeah. do. That pastor street taco hits on all cylinders. The tortilla is fresh. The taste of the cilantro, it is just so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And the meat is very well marinated. Meat has great flavor. You know how these tacos, you usually dress them up with more salsa and stuff. These don't need anything at all we're down to our final meal our final meal we here get? we got the porchetta sandwich from croft let's go ahead and open this up here see what this looks like now we were torn between this and they had a cubano they could a cubano yep and they even have poutine here but That's we have right. nothing to compare it could poutine too because we haven't been to canada yet Right. So we're going to keep that for later. That's right. So this is what the sandwich looks like. And they also this have is, a Philly cheesesteak yep. coming there as well. This is... Oh, wow. Look at that. Slowly done pork with cracklings. Uh oh, so everything is falling out in the insides. That's what it looks like. That looks really good. Wow. Yeah, it's got um, arugula in it. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, the pork, the yep. cracklings, everything. And it's really hot. So we gotta go ahead and dig on into this. Ready? And that bread, you can see how much it soaks up all of those uh, olive oil and pork juices in it. Wow, that's a crazy looking sandwich. This is an excellent sandwich. The first thing you get is the softness of that bread. And that arugula hits you, that tenderness of this pork, plus the crunchiness of the crackling in this sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see how much like fell out of the sandwich right here. This sandwich I'd come back and get again. It wasn't too expensive especially for this size sandwich. Twelve dollars it's not too bad. The pork is excellent. Arugula is excellent tasting. I mean, even though it's warm and wilted it is excellent tasting in here. All those urban spices. Oh yeah. You're gonna like this one, babe. Try to get some of these 
fallen pork cubes back on the sandwich. Here we go. What I like about the pork, these little cubes are very tender and moist. You would expect maybe sometime the pork to be a little bit dried out. Not this one. This is delicious. Like you mentioned, the arugula, and I'm not sure what kind of sauce this is. It's the one that really soaks into the bread, but it, it just matches perfectly everything. Just all porky goodness. Porky goodness, it's a hot porky goodness. Nice hot sandwich here. This is one of my uh, favorites over here. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a recommended, Bill Lisa approved, must try. We're done with the mains. We are. And we have one dessert. Yes, we did. We From Blue Bowl, we got our cold bowl. So they have acai. This is actually huckleberry. This wow. is um, gold. I believe the gold is the mango one. Get a little closer right here. It's pretty cool. They charge you for the size. So there are three different sides, sizes that they charge you. Okay. And then everything inside is unlimited. Oh, really? So, okay. yeah. So they charged me one, this size is ten fifty. Then I was able to put anything in it, unlimited toppings, everything like that. It's all that one price of ten fifty. So I can see you got strawberries. Got and strawberry, you have banana. Some, uh, uh, toasted coconuts. Toasted looks coconut like. and organic dates. I'm a date person. Oh, and um, almonds. Okay. Let's try it out. Yes. Banana? Uh, the banana. Oh, yeah, bananas the too. Huckleberry. I actually got a sample. So this huckleberry and this gold. It's falling all over the place. Yep, I see it. Okay. This huckleberry and this gold. Here, Cheers, babe. Mmm. Very, very good. I didn't get the uh, asahi yet. It's good. No asahi. It's um, huckleberry, like um, huckleberry mix and a and a and a mango mix. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, good. It's good stuff. It's a good dessert. And they have different granolas. They have a lot of different yeah. toppings. It is very cold. It is. Fresh. Love the fruits on it. Mm -hmm. Our other dessert option, which was the uh, the Turkish ice cream, but they only sold it by the court or yeah. something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it was way too little, much for us. A little too big. So we decided to get this uh, Asahi. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not Asahi. Not Asahi bowl. The blue bowl. A blue bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Right outside the hangar, they have a cool little shopping area. They have, today's a Saturday, they have live entertainment, and it's just a really cool vibe. Oh yeah, yeah very cool. a lot of fun. That is a wrap from the LBX hangar. That was really cool. What I really like about this, this overall place, the food was good. It wasn't very expensive as I'm used to like a lot of food halls are kind yeah, of pricey. Yeah, it was reasonable. It was very reasonable. Yeah. Clean bathrooms inside. They have indoor and outdoor seating, free parking all over the place. That's right. And if you don't want to go in the hangar, they have an in and out here. They have a kebab outside. They have tons of restaurants outside too. Lots of eating places. In fact, I see a Wahoo's fish taco across yeah. the street. Handles ice cream, homemade Handles, ice cream there. Right. And so, it's in the same parking lot as the Whole Foods. Yes, yeah. this is a huge area it called is. the Long Beach Exchange. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you could really spend a whole day over here you shopping can. and eating. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we had a great time here. Uh, At the I, hangar. I would like mm -hmm. to come back and check out some of the other eateries. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so uh, thanks everybody for coming along on our, on our hangar. Mm -hmm. Food Holland Adventure. Yes, and thank you so much for all the people who said hi to us yes, here. Yes, yes, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun, huh, It was, baby? it yeah, was. I'm full. Yes, so stay tuned to, for our next adventure. Yes. So until that one, we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>